You can either link or embed a PDF file within Excel so you can actually open it from inside Excel. There's a very important difference between linking and embedding, and I'll get to that in a few minutes, but let's start with linking. To link a PDF, simply right click on the cell where you wanna place the link and click on link. Navigate to the actual PDF, and you'll probably need to change this to all files. Select the PDF and hit OK, and you can change the text to display up here. If you want it to be something else than the actual PDF name or whatever's there right now for you, you can just write that like this and hit OK. Now, this is a link to the file. You can simply click on it and that will open the actual PDF itself. Pretty cool, huh? Another way to link a file here that's a little bit more interesting is to select the cell and go to insert and then over here to object. From there, pick create from file, browse to the actual file like this, click insert and click link to file and okay. Now here you probably want to paste everything, at least if you actually or someone within your organization made the actual PDF and that looks like this. So now this is a bit confusing. We will need to resize this to make it fit into the cell better and making these PDFs fit inside the cell and keeping them there is actually pretty difficult, but I have a trick for you in the end of this video if you wanna learn more about that. So now we have resized it so it can actually fit inside the cell. And now you have a little miniature version of the PDF here and you can double click that and it opens the PDF. That's actually quite nice, but there is a problem with this. So let's take a look at the folder where you can find the actual files that we have here. So this Excel file is the actual Excel file that is open here. And here are the PDF. This PDF has been uh, linked here. I believe I, I mistakenly picked that one instead of the 2024 version, but that doesn't really matter much. You can see that they take up this amount of space, almost 400 kilobytes, but the Excel file only takes up 10 kilobytes. Now, how can that be when we actually can open the PDFs from within the Excel file? And the only way this can happen is because they're just linked. They're not really inside the PDF. So the problem here is that if we delete this file, then let's see what happens in Excel. So if we try to click this now, we cannot open the specified file, not from here either. And that's because the link is now broken. Let's try and put it there again, like this. And now we can see that we can actually open it again from the links. But the links were broken, and that means you actually gotta be careful with where you put these PDFs. A better way for you may be to actually embed the PDF file inside the Excel file. So you can always open them from there. That's better for sharing purposes. So you don't need to worry about where the actual PDF is. And you simply do that by clicking the cell where you wanna embed it, go to object and click create from file, click browse and select it here, click insert, display as icon. That's usually the best option because the other method can cause some problems. If you don't check this, it may cause some problems, but don't set a check mark in the link to file. Click OK. And there is the icon put in here. And this is actually an icon you can format as you want. You can change the color of it if you want that, or you can remove the outline from it like this. Let's change that back. Okay, so now you have this transparent object where you can put it in here and you have a PDF icon. And when you double click that, you can actually open the PDF file. And this is embedded in the file. So let's take a look at the folder and see if that makes any difference. So let's save this, look at the folder here. You can see that the Excel file that we have opened here right now is almost 700 kilobytes. So that means that the actual PDF is embedded inside the file. And no matter if we delete these PDFs or not, the user 
will always be able to open this PDF from inside Excel. Obviously, if you have a lot of PDFs you need to embed in your file, it may not work for you because the file size will be too big and it will become slow and cumbersome, but instead you can just link it and it won't cause any issues to the file because it won't increase in file size and won't become slow. If you have to embed or link multiple PDFs in your file, you will need to know this formatting issues that potentially may cause you a lot of headaches. Now, if you right click the object here, you can click on format object and go to properties. Here you have the object positioning. And this is really important because maybe the settings on your version of Excel are different. And I want to make you aware that you don't want, typically don't want this lower option right here. So don't move or size with cells. That's probably not what you want, but it does give you a lot of freedom on where to actually put it. So let's try and select that. And now if you insert a column here, you can see that the object here doesn't move with the cells. It stays put. This gives you a lot of freedom on, on, on where to put it, but it's not very clever. Instead, what you typically want is to format the object and go to properties, click move and size with cells. So if you put it here and have that option enabled, then if you change the size of the cells, it will resize with the cell. But more importantly, if you sort this data set instead from Z to A, then it will sort with it because it will move with the actual cell. So that's a pretty important setting if you need to do this with a lot of PDFs. Instead of actually embedding or linking an entire PDF document inside Excel, you can also just import the data from the PDF file in Excel and you can watch a video about how to do that right here. Or if you wanna spice it up even further, you can insert pictures in Excel cells and link them to your PDFs and you can learn more about that in this video right here. Thanks for watching, see you.